Hello and welcome to another 5J Saturday here at Nintendo Prime. I'm your host for today, 5J, and today we're going to play some Twilight Princess HD. Now, after Breath of the Wild, a lot of people have kind of talked about, can you go back? And for some people, they said, yes, I miss all the classic Zelda elements, um, the classic dungeon structure and that kind of stuff. And other people said, no. So, I wanted to explore that question myself. And, uh... Basically, all of the older Zeldas, 3D Zeldas, are kind of in the same style. So you can kind of play any old Zelda to kind of see if you're uh, you're still okay with the old formula. So that's what I'm doing here today. I'm trying out Twilight Princess HD because I never finished the HD version. And uh, I wanted to continue my adventure through it. So we're not starting from scratch. I don't remember where I am. I think I probably just had this Goron launch me up here. So I'm probably just going to go right through this door. Let's see where it goes. I don't even remember. It's been so long since I beat Twilight Princess. Uh, I got it with my Wii at launch, and uh, I loved it, and I beat it, and it was amazing. And uh, now, now what? I don't remember. It's been uh, ten plus years since then. So. So. What? So those are the... So my, my wife, bless her heart, she took her time to go pick up Chick-fil-A for breakfast. And uh, they left out hash browns? Oh, no. Do you want to split those with me? Would that make you happy? Leave me one. They're basically just little chicken sandwiches, and you already have a chicken sandwich. But I don't have anything. <laughs> <laughs> these are these little minis. If you've ever been to Chick Fil A, they have these little mini sandwiches. It's like their version of a chicken nugget, and they put it on the littlest, tiny little biscuit. Yes, thank you for showing me here. So each of these has got this little tiny chicken breast in it, and they're really good. There wasn't a second bag or something. No, all I got in here is gravy and sauces. Which, by the way, you should look through those sauces and... No, 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 leave me one. Just leave me one. I still got this biscuit and gravy to eat. So just leave me one. Okay. Sorry, that's a bunch of non-Zelda talk here. But, uh, yeah, so this this is, what, an 11-year-old game at this point? You should totally go there and tell them you're missing hash browns. Too much effort, I understand. Oh, yes! I had the super creepy Uku, or whatever his name is. Save my spot, I think. Did I not? Oh, no. Huh. Did I beat this this dungeon? Oh, no. Oh, no. Did not beat that dungeon. Alright, well, let's keep going, then. Chic felon. That's a fancy way to say it. I always get a big old thing of a mixture of sweet tea and lemonade. So good. Ha! This game does look really good. Um, you know, I was never quite sure how I felt about all HD remakes. But it looks good. It looks like how I remember the game looking. Because, of course, uh, the Wii came out in an HD era without HD, you know, utter silliness. So, uh, I remember the game having, you know, a striking art style that was very attractive, and then, you know, <laughs> being low resolution, and that stunk. So, this is what I kind of remember it looking like, you know, thinking, eh, hey, this game looks great. It didn't look great because of the resolution, but now, now it finally does. Also, I don't have the problem that some people had, um, because uh, it's so long since I played this and I don't remember. Um, I don't remember this being flipped. This seems like how the game actually was to me. I don't remember being flipped, so I played it on Wii, and then they flipped it around for the GameCube version so you didn't have to use motion controls. In fact, the, uh, the GameCube version that was opposite of the Wii was the original version of the game. 
So technically, this is the real version of the game, and the Wii one was backwards. But because it's been so long, I actually don't remember it being backwards, so it, this feels right to me. I only beat that game, we'll call it one and a half times. So, I mean, I didn't play it to death. Hey, who is doing that? <laughs> who dares? For real, though, where is that coming from? Just out of nowhere. Huh. Whenever I turn my back, I guess. Stop putting those on. I keep trying to jump. See, because that X button is where jump is in Breath of the Wild. So now, I can see already where I'm having a, a problem. I'm struggling to stay. Oh, we have to get there. Got it. How do we get there? Climb up there? It's got to be a magnet thing somewhere, right? Got to get up there somehow. Boy, so I've solved part of this uh, dungeon, but I don't remember anymore. Oops. Ah. So if we go up here, what am I missing? You can't jump up ladders. That's what I'm trying to do. I keep trying to jump up ladders. It's not a thing anymore. What else do I got for gadgets? Uh, the collection? That's not really what I want, is it? Mini map, big map. Oh, that's putting it in the... yeah. Oh, that's right. Everything is now on the touch screen. I guess there's a boomerang, which for some reason we don't have equipped. Probably put it there in, in place of Uku, because we don't need him much. Just sometimes. What, what can we lock on? What do we need to lock on? I don't know, but let's just see what we can get done. Okay. Can't turn a knob with it. Check. Let's go back a step. Maybe we need to go back over there again. Oh, that doesn't turn that fire off. Ooh, that's a predicament now, isn't it? I can't climb anything anymore. Oh, duh. You just jump a little gap. Stupid. Oh, 5J. I also keep trying to use B to unequip things, but again, not a thing anymore. And there's that guy that was spitting at me. He just liked to hide. Okay, so we got that treasure already. What's up here? Anything of interest? No. We're gonna hop across here. Ha! Now, I understand some of the criticisms of, of missing out on the old elements because the old elements were great. I mean, I don't think anyone ever, uh, any Zelda fan ever was like, oh, Zelda sucks because then you would be a Zelda fan. All right? <laughs> Definition there. But. I think just folks that have been playing the, these games for a very long time, even though they really love them, they just kind of thought, you know, it'd be nice to see something new. And uh, they gave us something really new. They didn't swap out one or two things, which is kind of what um, uh, A Link Between the Worlds was. They just swapped out a few things and it was great, but then the world was, you know, t completely similar. You know, so, I mean, in that sense, they failed a little bit. But, um... It wasn't enough. It still felt like too traditional of a Zelda experience. In that... It didn't feel like they were really trying to... Innovate the series. You know? And it's hard to draw in new fans... If you've been doing the same thing for so long. So... Oh, nope, take them off, quick! Real quick, real quick. Come on. Ah, I was standing in the wrong spot like a dumb idiot. 
Let's check our map here. So we've gone left before. We haven't really gone right. Let's. I guess we'll just wait for our ride to come back. Do 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 do. Here we go. Best, best ride ever. Ridiculous magnetic ride. Oh yeah. You guys want some, huh? You want some of this? You want some of this? Yeah, that's right. Uh, I get that people didn't like the breakable thing, and in some ways I enjoyed it, in some ways I didn't. Because I feel like I never use the weapons that I like the most because I don't want to lose them. So I always feel like I'm using garbage. Is this gonna take me? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Hey, you want some of this? Yeah, that's right you do. Allow me to kill you now. I liked in this game uh, learning special moves and then incorporating them into combat. I thought that was a really smart addition. Uh, Wind Waker, of course, you upgraded your sword and, and that gave you new abilities. And that was cool too. I think a lot of people are of the opinion that Wind Waker had the best combat. And I don't know, because... Breath of the Wild, you could do things like throw a sword at somebody in a lightning storm, and then they could get struck by lightning. Or you could hold a cuckoo, and they hit the cuckoo, the enemy does, and then the cuckoo attacks the enemy. It's genius. I mean, there's so many cool things you can do in that game that are just so wildly unexpected. I think that's why most people um, prefer the new experience. It is... It is so new in so many ways. Show your ugly face. Ugh, I got motion controls on it in addition, and it's doubly messing me up here. Ah! Stop it! A is back. Why would A be back? Alright, whatever. It works. Some stuff down there we haven't got yet, maybe? Grab. Classic block pushing in Zelda. Wait, why are we in here? I love the sound effects. Uh oh, crap. Wait, so I drowned outside the water. You see how that works, right? My face was literally outside the water. Yeah, I call crap on that one. <laughs> okay. I don't know why I sort of was indecisive there, but whatever. At least we're still in the same room. Ah. Oh, and that guy wants a piece of the action too, huh? Alright, buddy. Now, I am using the motion aiming a little bit, and that is actually nice fine-tuning. It works just fine. I know people in Splatoon are big on it. I don't really use it in Splatoon, but I should, if I want to be any good. <laughs> I'm not. Okay. Oh, that's why you'd go over there. There's a big magnetic thing. Yep, you fly across the room. Got it. That's where I'm going. Push! Push! So, the ankles of those iron boots, by the way, Totally like moving, like there's a joint there. That's impressive. They're not just solid iron. They're like Gundam feet. <laughs> I want them to have a whole iron suit, though. I definitely want myself to be. I, I want to be able to play Gundam Link. <laughs> the magnetic feature in this game, the aspect. Puzzle solving elements there. Probably my favorite part of Twilight Princess. So cool. I really enjoyed the entire aesthetic of this game, and I'd love for them to go back to a more serious style like this. This isn't completely realistic by any means, especially when you start to look at the townspeople. Some of them are really wacky looking. Um, but 
it is a more realistic approach, and I like it a lot. Now, Breath of the Wild, beautiful game. I definitely won't say anything against that. I also like the style of Skyward Sword. It's a good-looking game, you know, despite what you may have uh, for issues with that game. What's changing? Is it this door? It is this door. Okay. So let me just... Again, I keep thinking it's jump and it's not. There you go. Ha! Hiya! Hiya! And the finisher. Finish him! We did. And we will. Give me all them arrows you got. Stick them up! Is this a hold up? It's a science experiment, huh? Back to the Future 3, any fans? No? Oh, that's too bad. It's a great movie. Can I hit you in the eye and kill you? Yes, I can. Good. Now what? I'm just dead and that's it? Okay. What does this do? <laughs> nice miss, Link. Oh, it's the door out. Got it. No reason to care about that. Take them off for one second, Link. You move a lot faster without them. Yeah, that's one thing that I definitely don't like about the older games, is now how slow Link feels. He just moves so slowly. Even without the iron boots, he's just not fast enough. I like being able to run. And so, that's always been a problem in Zelda games, and so the fun solution everyone always had was to roll everywhere, right? Doesn't work with iron boots, but they just roll everywhere because it feels slightly faster as long as you don't run into things like I did. So, that's... That's funny. I like that. I definitely am guilty of that. Rolling all over the place. But, uh... Being able to run would be nice, wouldn't it? Now, of course, it would be fun if they put rolling into the breath into Breath of the Wild as well, because, well, ha ha ha, we acknowledge that everyone rolled everywhere, so here's a continuous roll feature, but it's faster to run. You know, that, that'd be a clear message that, ha ha, you can roll all the time, just like you used to, but just so you know, we've added run, and that's a lot faster than rolling everywhere now, so. Why would it let me come up here? What, do I hold on to this? Huh. Don't know. I don't think there was a treasure chest. I feel like I just wasted my time up there. La T T T. This game always did feel like it was supposed to be a sequel to Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask, but it so it gives me that desire to play those games. But this is a great game. Yeah, I understand. Uh, you know, all the reasons why different games in the series aren't people's favorite games or why they dislike them or whatever. That's fine. Oh, that was stupid of me, now wasn't it? Um, gaming is subjective. Your opinion's valid just as much as mine is. Only to ourselves. <laughs> now, you might find people that you find your opinions are more closely aligned to and then you start to respect their opinion as, you know, maybe reflecting your own and you can trust that. That's great. Everyone gets to that point. They find people like that. But even when you find somebody similar to yourself, you'll find you're, you're disagreeing with them on some things. It's just how it goes. It's a totally subjective experience playing video games. And if you think that the best uh, Zelda game is Wand of Gamelon, well, good for you. But I think <laughs> few will share that opinion. <laughs> What have we here? Literally nothing important. Okay. I'm just not worried about these archers. I'm just... I couldn't be more relaxed about them being here. I'm just gonna explore at my own pace. Not take them out. I'm sure I'll come back and kill them all. That's how Zelda games go. You run around, just kill everything in sight. 
except for the people in towns. I like, though, in Breath of the Wild, when you did have, like, a sword out, that people would be on edge, like, hey, whoa, are you gonna attack me? Like, put it away, man. Don't make me do this. Don't make me destroy you. To quote Darth Vader. Don't make me destroy you. Now, I didn't like that swimming in Breath of the Wild took stamina to do, but it makes sense. And it actually forced you to be more creative with how you got to places. So I would always use um, Cryonis and just make uh, ice towers everywhere I went. And then it didn't take any swimming ability. I just hopped all the way across massive stretches of water and it was easy. No problems. Let's see. I mean, this is easy path, right? So you can take the easy path. Whee! Please be magnet. That was close. I almost wasn't on that right. Go run! Woohoo! I don't think that was easy path. I think that was the only path. The other one would have been a mistake for sure. All right, try this again. I like the doors in these ones. He just kind of pulls on it, a bunch of rocks fall down, and then it slides away all cool. There was a lot about this game that I really liked, aesthetically. And um, I think they really nailed it. This was a, a great launch title for the Wii, and it was a great send-off for the GameCube. Um... You know, the Wii had Wii Sports packed in, and it was so great that the other alternative from Nintendo was a hardcore uh, Nintendo fan game, not a casual, let's waggle sticks around game. Now there was motion controls, and that wasn't ideal. I mostly, you know, used as little of that as possible. But in the early days, I didn't mind using pointer controls, um, so I kind of liked that at the time. Um... But as time went on, of course, I, like everyone else, was like, this is garbage. I hate, I hate having to move my hands other than just my thumbs. It's way more energy than it should be to play this game. There are no limits to what we elders can do to contain Darbus now that he has been overcome by evil. You must aid us, brother. Please, take the high root, the hero's weapon, and head deeper as quickly as possible. I thought I was going to have to wrestle this guy. Maybe I already did that. Hey, Dapus is here. What's up, Dapus? Says, hello. Hello, Dapus. Thanks for coming. Now, Dapus, have you played Twilight Princess? Have you played Twilight Princess HD? What do you think of Twilight Princess and or Twilight Princess HD? It's so good. I can't just leave it there to get diluted by them ice cubes. Hey, get out of here. Oh, I have been here before. Oh, I didn't realize I was backtracking up. This is all new. Oops. So let's take a look at the map. Oh, I didn't check the other floor. I've only... Okay. Wait, have I beaten this then? Oh, crap. It looks like I maybe haven't gotten into the boss room yet, because I have the map and I have the compass. I don't see any color in those two rooms on the left there. So maybe, just maybe, we haven't completed this yet. Davis says, OFC, oh, I've played Twilight Princess. I got them both. What do you mean you got them both? GameCube and Wii? And as I've said earlier, don't like the HD maps since they aren't the same as the Wii. Okay, so you didn't get the GameCube version either. Yeah, I didn't get the GameCube version. I didn't have a GameCube. Now I wish I had the GameCube version, because I do have GameCubes. And, uh, and of course, I have an original Wii, and it plays GameCube games. So, 
I doubly wish I had a GameCube version of this game. Yeah, that's right. I, I do remember you telling me that, Davis. Sorry, I forget. So... Oh, hello, big old buddy there. You must be the good guy, though. You're... What is his name? Darpus? This can't be the boss. I must have already beaten him. He doesn't look like he wants to fight. He's got big metal arms. With skills like yours, even the Patriarch can be brought back to his senses. Take the hero's weapon and save our Patriarch. Hero's weapon? I already have the hero's weapon? What is the hero's weapon? Wasn't the wind boomerang thing that was, um, gale boomerang. That was from the forest dungeon. So we open this sucker up. Da -da -da -da. Oh, it must be the bow and arrow. Oh. Got it. All right, well, we just need to make our way to the boss then somehow. Oh, there goes a blue rupee. Rip. Da -da -da. Da -da -da. Yeah, I don't know why that's there. I was holding something. It was a rope on there we probably had cut. That makes sense. Um, taking a look, look at this map. What do we need to do? We've been left. This is going to bring us back out into the main area, which is probably what we want. To get to this boss. Right? Yeah, this is where we need to go. All the things. Alright, now... Let's kill these guys so they aren't a problem later. I am using the motion controls and it does work. No. Unless you don't aim right. I'm getting hasty. Okay, that last one I feel like really should have hit. Hi. You hit him high, hit him high, hit him high. And I hit him low, hit him low, hit him low. Sorry, old song. None of you are going to know that. <laughs> Can I kill you guys from a distance? That'd be great. Not even in the tail? Oh, it does work in the tail. Haha. <laughs> no effort. Turn around, let me see your tail. Gotcha. And we'll just take all these fools out. It's just going to make life hard for us. So, why not? You need at least one or two of those. Okay, there you go. I guess they don't really make that life that tough. They're just boring slugs. Okay, oh. Now where does that go? Nope, 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 there you go. Where does that go? I'm real curious now. It says it's so weird, everything is the wrong way compared to what I'm used to. I honestly don't remember it being backwards. I just played the game you know 10 years ago and I just don't remember 11 years I think actually right 2006 it's a long time did we already get this thing looks like it okay let's get out of here I love those magnetic passages. So, so very cool. Okay, so boss room is which way on the map? We need to end up going north. Then take a left. So we probably need this thing. Oh, one more step. There you go. Whee! Yeah, go away. I don't care about you. Okay, so 
We're gonna go north for a bit, and then we're gonna hang a left. Then we're gonna find that guy, we're gonna kill him, his mother, all of his children, everything like that. Yeah, I don't care about you guys. I don't think I have to care. Would you just grab that, please? Thanks, Link. You're a gentleman and a scholar. Literally neither of those things, because he won't talk, so he doesn't say thank you. And he was too young to go to college. I mean, I don't know how old he's supposed to be in these games, but I'm thinking 17 at his oldest and maybe 10 or 12 at his youngest. So, too young. Davis says, I'm trying to remember this dungeon too. A bit hard when you're not playing yourself. Yeah. Yeah. That's how it goes, but it's okay. I'm sure you remember some things that might uh, be things that I don't remember. Like I said, I've, I've forgotten a lot about this game. Oh, thank you. No! What? Why did I do that? So stupid of me. Oh, Link. I'm making mistakes everywhere. What's wrong with me? Aside from a litany of mental problems, what's wrong with me? <laughs> um, I'm pointing that way, bro. That was weird. I must have hit that direction before he got inverted onto the ceiling. And so it inverted me and controlled it weird. Well, now that I have a bow and arrow, I can do this a different way. Oh, and that's not the way I want to do it. I meant to do it this way. Ping! There we go. You guys again? Oh, that's why we were wasting our time in this room before, because we'd already cut the rope we needed to cut. Just die, will ya? I'm not trying to fight all cool-like. I just want you to be dead. Ah, that's why it's not wasting your time. You literally can't get up there without it. Got it. Any tips for dinner? Mmm, dinner. Now, I don't know what kind of fast food you have over there, but I just had Chick-fil-A for breakfast, but that's always good for dinner, too. Um, but what else? Um, by the way, we got a new kind of Pringles yesterday. Cheeseburger Pringles. You can taste the ketchup, you can taste the mustard, the onions, the meat, the bun. It's crazy. They're really good, actually. After a few of them, you're like, you know what, I think I love this. I think I love it a lot. Okay, dinner. I'm thinking... I was gonna say pasta, but I feel like I told you pasta last time. Before nachos. And I was gonna say Mexican food, but nachos is kind of in that vein. Um, I'm thinking maybe some kind of uh, German food. You know, sauerkraut or, well, that's not your meal, you know, but, but like a, a, a bratwurst with some sauerkraut and stuff, you know? Love bratwurst. Would you just turn and fight this guy? There you go. Um, what else? Oh, some uh, some sort of Asian food. I don't know if you want to go with, like, pad thai or maybe, like, uh, some chow mein or, oh, heck, ramen noodles, even. <laughs> Everyone loves ramen noodles. Aim. Aim. There you go. Who's left of these dastardly archers? You. 
I mean, this is the area we need to solve, so I don't go in this door. I need to get that magnetic crane up and running, so... Where's that crank at? Unless I break it. Wouldn't that be funny? Let's bring it down. I think that's all the archers, so that's not a solution. Ha! I feel like this must be something. I mean, it didn't really lead anywhere, but can we pull this thing? There we go. That's the one. Do -do 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 -do. Preempted. Okay. Oh, we learned our lesson this time. Shoot it. Don't get hurt. I just ran up to it last time, smacked it with a sword. That's good thinking. Why don't you purposefully agitate an explosive with one inch between it and your face? Good plan. Do a good plan. Davis says, what? That's so weird. Ah, Pad Thai sounds yummy now. You have to go behind the laser dude. Oh, well, I read that too late, but thanks, man. Well, man. Davis says, man, I need to replay Twilight Princess when I'm done with all my school stuff. Yeah. It's a good game. Totally worth it. Good. Well, do we cut it as long as we're up here? Do we shoot it? Do we shoot it while we're up here? Oh, it's inverted. Weird. Okay, here we are. Bada bing. It's as if I know when they're going to play that sound. Oh, I had pork rinds for the first time in forever yesterday. They're good. Oh, man, I might have Poco bring me some pork rinds and hamburger or cheeseburger Pringles. It's going to be super loud on... Uh, oh boy. Do I have a free bottle? I don't. What do I have in these stupid bottles? It doesn't tell you when you select them. I think one's probably lantern oil and one's probably a health potion. I mean, that's probably okay, but... Boy, I don't know. Let's just get the fairy. We love the fairy, plus it's so easy to buy potions if we want it. There we are. Doop -do -do -do. Rap. Bottles, by the way, they did away with bottles in Breath of the Wild. How weird is that? Bottles were such a staple in Breath of the Wild or in uh, 3D Zelda games. For anything. Hey, you need to tote around any item ever, you need a bottle. Who knows why, but that was just how the mechanic was. And so, they were just like, you know what, well, how about this? How about, like, modern games, you can hold 17 billion items? How's that? Okay, good. Problem solved. No bottle needed. At least not any magical bottle. You could still get stuff that was in bottles, I think. You just consumed. Jars, maybe? I don't know what you want to say. Oh, yeah! Okay. Oh, well, Link, what the dirt? <laughs> nice death. Um, Dapa says, I'm considering making lasagna. Excellent choice. I love Italian food. That's one of my first impulses to say every time. Then grow to, go to the grocery shop later since I need to buy more veggies for piggies. Piggies? Oh, like your um, guinea pigs? Nice. Uh, no, I don't have cheese for lasagna. Well, that sucks. Yeah, there's a lot of cheese needed for a proper lasagna. I guess I'll make lasagna for a night snack. Yeah, it's so weird. No bottles in Breath of the Wild. Yeah, they really shook things up big time. And uh, you could get boomerangs in Breath of the Wild, but they weren't really for solving puzzles like they traditionally were. And uh, they didn't function the way they normally functioned. 
They just really, uh... Would you... Okay. You know what? Take the one out on the ground first. Because that's the easy target, right? Then we'll deal with the ones in the sky. I hate you. I hate you. Can you just take your dumb shield out? They shoot too fast. There we go. The control... The view keeps resetting on me when I try and shoot at the guys, so... I could just have one split part of a second more. Not use stupid motion controls. I don't know. We, we figured it out. Took way too much damage in that process, though. Yikes. Oh, these guys will probably give me hearts. Yeah. What's up? Taking you all out, you fools. Not a heart yet. There's one. Still only one. Alright, great. One heart. Come on. Just waiting to see. No, nope, and there goes that guy. He could have maybe given us a heart, but. Wamp, wamp. Alright, well, three and a quarter hearts will probably have to do then. Unless there's some more fairies in here. Hearts. There we go. Yeah. I was going to say, I'm accustomed to, like, multiple fairies next to a boss in these older ones. Traditional style ones, I should say. Alright, let's beat this boss and get out of here. Oh, yes, I love this fight. Now, I'm not sure that I remember exactly how to beat him, but I know you gotta have them magnetic boots. Well, iron boots. The environment is magnetic. Oh, there's like an eye in the crystal. Weird. Those chains not doing much good. He's just able to will himself out of them. And they weren't real handy. So, let me get this right. It's heating up his chains on his hands, but he breaks them at the ceiling. So he didn't really need a light on fire to break them. I shoot him in the eye, right? That's how this works. Okay. He's stumbling around. Can I hurt him? No? Is that, is that it? Okay. Turn around. Come on, hit him in the eye, hit him in the eye. Can hit him now. What can we do? Oh, iron boot. Can you trip him? Is that what's happening? Ba bam! Okay. Yeah, I forgot about this. Now you sort him in the face. Classic Zelda moment right there. He's starting to get more angry. Angry! Uh, let's see. Dapa says, It's summer temperatures here today. It's so hot. I love that you can do so many things in the summer, but the heat, worst. Absolutely hate it. This is all oh, the best cutscene in the game is probably when Link is in Wolf form finding the kids and then they think about him yeah oh yeah they have no idea I can't stay away can't do it so good oh yes classic the the cave troll moment in uh, 
in Lord of the Rings, Fellowship of the Rings, of the Ring, where uh, there's a cave troll. And this, please. Trip him. He uses the chain as a whip. This guy uses the chain as a whip. That's what I'm referring to. If that was cryptic. Sorry. <laughs> All right, he's got one stage left, right? It's normally how Zelda bosses go. I feel like there was another Zelda boss that you use magnetic. He had like a, a, a big ball and chain. Am I thinking right? Am I thinking wrong? Might be thinking wrong. And trip. Uh oh. One clumsy monster, man. It happens to him three times in a row, and he still acts surprised every time. What? What? How could this happen? I like how his body it has, like, all these open spots. He's just, like, a weird, swirling, evil mass. Dude. Swing downward. At no point were we ever above you. Swing downward. He's got the worst aim. Out of his eye pops a heart container. Nice. Dapa says, haha, cave troll. You remember that moment? Right? It's good stuff. It's just like that. Just whipping things, those chains. Can you imagine how much that would hurt? The answer is no, of course not. Duh. <laughs> Doo -doo -doo. Ya -da -da -da. Yeah, that's right. We gotta get them pieces. How many do we need? Two? Or sorry, three or four? Five? Ten? A billion? Eh, probably a billion. Oh, are we just learning about Zant right now? I love the storytelling in this game. I thought it was very cool. All the cutscenes were so good. That's a fair point, for real, though. Let's get out of here. Okay, so it is only three pieces. I thought it might be three. Oh! It was just a big old Goron! Made all evil by Zant. He's just like, what? I had the weirdest dream. Also, most awkward thing ever. Nintendo rendering rock nipples on Gorons. Yikes. I love the sound effects in this game. They took the N64 sound effects and they just added like a little like harpish guitarish sound imitating it and it sounds really good you know even though orchestrated music is like the future and what everyone seems to want i kind of like this the old stuff that's not orchestrated it feels more video gamey to me you know it feels more unique to my hobby if it's not just like rip off sounding classical music <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like the popular music version of like Beethoven and Mozart, you know what I mean? Like a, a three minute single version of their gigantic sy symphonies, you know what I mean? I'm just saying, I happen to really like the music in the old games. We spent way too much time. Are you kidding me? It's been how many hours? 11? I think when I beat this game originally, it was only like 25 hours. And this is all the farther I am in 11 hours? Yikes. I'm getting worse at games. Of course, I think as you're streaming and you're just talking, you're not thinking as hard about the game. You're probably making stupid decisions. Heroic Link. North of here, across the plain, and past the Great Stone Bridge. In the land guarded by the spirit, Leneru. 
You shall find one who you shall seek. Cool, bro. Hey, there's them kiddos. Lonk. The textures look pretty darn good. Some of them more than others. Oh, Ilya. These poor children. You gotta involve kids in stories. It adds weight. Like, oh man, they're just kids. Got them help. Gotta help them out. Faces in this game, though, do look a bit weird. Even Lynx, if you look too close, he's got a, a weird nose. David says, I think the Uku birdie has nipples, too. Yeah, that's true. That's pretty awkward, too. Uh, it was kind of a big deal figuring that out last time I played Twilight Princess with my friends. Haha, <laughs> we were so taken aback. Yeah, so creepy, too. It's just, like, weird and flappy and saggy and... Why does it look human at all? Like, ugh. The Uku thing is nuts. Gross. Davis is loving your voices as always. Ha <laughs> ha. The noses look pinched. Yeah. And some are too, too pinched. Some are too bulbous. All sorts of stuff. I don't know. But still, I enjoyed this art style. A somewhat realistic-ish approach. It's just, it feels more mature, and I'm ready for these mature Zelda games. And Breath of the Wild felt, felt plenty mature, so I'm okay with that, too. I guess this one probably just reminds me more of just an evolution of the Ocarina of Time style, which I love. Okay, that girl on the right, worst face. So messed up. <laughs> Nothing's proportionate there. Ugh. Always a Kakariko village. You gotta have it. It's never the same, Kakariko village. Never. But here it is. Epona, what's up, little horse? Where are we going, though? Now that we've done this... Much has happened here. But at last I feel joy beginning to return to this village. Thanks to you. Even Talo, who was so saddened by the incident with Colin, has at last recovered his good spirits. That young boy wanted dearly to help, so he keeps watching from the observation platform now. The lookout platform is high above the bomb shop. I am sure that if you were to speak to Talo, he would be happy. Okay. What? I didn't see that. That's <laughs> alright. I'm sure we'll see you later. Poor opponent got weird markings. A little bit, yeah. But it's kind of cool. She's got tribal tattoos. That's what she's got. She always wanted to get tattoos. And in this game, they finally granted her wish. Her greatest wish. Tat me out, bro. Tat me out. Isn't that commonly known? Everyone knows about this great wish. Oh? Oh. Of the classic Goron sound. Oh, oh, oh. When they'd keep rolling and unrolling from a ball. Oh, oh. Oh, miss. Oh, fail. Oh, well. Above the bomb shop. So, must be on the other side of the map. We'll be polite. We'll go say hi. Why not? She got a spider. Ha ha ha. Dang, I totally forgotten about her wish. <laughs> I know, most people do. I don't understand. Now can you forget how much Epona wanted to get all tatted up? <laughs> Sounds like he's tap dancing up here. Bomb shop. I mean, what's the deal here? 
Ask Goran to shoot you up. Oh, is that what he do? There's also stairs. Does this lead us anywhere? Oh, it does. Okay. Sounds like there could be two ways up. There just might be. For a second there, I was worried I was actually streaming on the wrong channel. But no. <laughs> I set it up correctly. Woohoo! Oh, poor house that got burned it down. Nope. Where is this little bug? Oh, he's up even higher. Got it. I'm going through a lot of trouble for this little guy, so it better be worth it. It won't be. We just fooling around. Exploring the world because I haven't been here in so long. Oh, forgot the portals did just hang there in the sky. That's kind of cool. What you got to say, brother? Yes. Do it. Ah! You didn't do that right, boy. You didn't do that right at all. There you go. This is a real door. It looks fake. Do, 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 do. What is this? Ah, treasure! Ha ha ha. Yeah. I figured it was probably rupees. That's about how this game goes. Rupees in every treasure chest. That or a compass or a map. Hey. So that was a cool thing about Breath of the Wild. You were always excited about treasure chests because you never knew what was going to be in there. Just never knew. Could be something awesome. And sometimes it was really awesome. So go down and find him, then show me from there. Why would you want me to show you all the way down... Okay. <laughs> Whatever. Bada bing! Oh, I think we can hit that. It's a little bit longer distance, but I think we can still pretty much shoot it straight on. Actually, we, we have to shoot low. That's weird. Lower than you think. All right, now you're just getting over eager. There you go. I'm gonna make some popcorn. Need some salt. Ooh, yum. Gotta love that popcorn. Oh yeah, this one is a little bit challenging, no lie. I'm gonna do the, I gotta, I gotta make sure this thing is steady as can be. I should maybe turn off the motion controls. Where's the options? Because at the, the, this point, the motion controls are only going to make me unsteady. If you have to be that accurate. Aim. Motion controls off, please. Thank you. Thank you so much. Ah, see? So steady now. Now you can aim much better. Oh, way high. How can he shoot that far? Holy crap. That's a strong bow. Oh! It was still high. How do you shoot high at that range? There's no way. Oh, yeah. What's up? I hit it. Three tries. Not bad. Hey, it actually was worth it to talk to him up there. Wow. I didn't think that it would be. But, piece of heart. That's totally worth it. 
All right, Midna, where am I going? Lene Ru Province. Okay. Head to the twilight that's fallen north of Kakariko. Okay, so map it up. Here we is now. Shadow to the north. Okay. Epona. Take me north, girly. Woo! Pardon me. Excuse me, kind sir. Coming through. Move! Get out the way! Is this the right way is a great question. And I'm going to go ahead and say yes, actually. No, that's good. He says, I like getting as close as possible with the joysticks and then aim with the motion control. That does work, and sometimes I do like just like a, a little bit of assistance. But with that one, it was actually way easier. Sans motion controls. Ah! Mr. Mailman with your tiny running shorts. Please, by all means, come up to us and talk to us. I'm not creeped out at all. Especially with that face. <laughs> Oh my, scared out of my, my wits here. Alright, I guess he went through the trouble. Let's read our mail. Who sent us some crap? New sundries. You haven't been by to look. I have an item that isn't available anywhere else. Oh man, I'm gonna need to read that. Yeah, yeah, uku. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. It was a weird system. All right, oh, get back on, get back on right now. Let's go find the good that we didn't know we were missing out on until now. <sighs> back where we came. I mean, I don't want to miss out. You know, got that FOMO. Now, which one of these silly shops is the Sundry's shop? This one? I don't know. Oh, I love this music. I love how much um, Ocarina of Time music they put in here. Just tons. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. And see, now I just want to play Ocarina of Time, though. <sighs> the struggle is real. Are you the Sundry's shop? What do you say? General store. Is the general store the Sundry's shop? Because why would you call yourself two different things, you know? You know? Mallow Mart. Oh, that's cool. We got plenty for that. I don't think we need a wooden shield. Huh. Oh, and they probably wanted you to use this to hit that pole. And then that probably would have been plenty fine to use motion controls for. Got it. Do, 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 do. So do I have to equip it? Do I wear the mask on my face? Looks like I might need to. So I pop that on my face. Get the bow out. No? It's not for use with the bow. It's literally just for looking at stuff. That seems kind of dumb. Why would I want that? Get rid of it. Well, thanks for wasting my time, Mallow Mart. <laughs> I was maybe a little overboard, but... Is this a store? I mean, it, that one technically wasn't called Sundries. 
Oh, you combine them. Oh, I forgot that was a thing in this game. And that they uh, did the same thing that you could do in um, Link's Awakening, where you could combine using the sword or the bombs and the arrows at the same time. And then you'd use a bomb arrow. They actually made bomb arrows in this game. And you had to combine them. I forgot about that. Thank you. How does one combine? But how do you combine it? You put the mask down and then the arrow on it? Nope. Yeah, get, unplug this cord. We don't need this. This gamepad can last one hour at least. How do I combine them again? Can I not combine them yet? What is happening? Collection, it's not in there. I thought the combining was real easy. I thought they used to just drag the item onto the other item, but that didn't seem to work. Oh, I see. ZL, huh? What does ZL do for us here? That, okay, that made no sense how I had to do that in the touch screen. I had to drag them to a totally se separate part to make it work. Dumb. Whatever. We got it to work. Thanks for reminding us, Dapus. So now... You can zoom in. And this was how you were supposed to do the challenge. And look at how easy that would have been. But nope, not the way that we did it. We only took three shots. I mean, it wasn't so bad. It's going to come in handy, though. Good turnaround, opponent. Good turnaround. Oh, yeah! Hey! Nice aim, Epona. <laughs> Worst horse. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. It's just excuses for me aiming poorly, of course. Popcorn, a tiny bit burnt, but still good. Oh man, that burnt popcorn smell. <sighs> Doesn't like to go away. It's not good. I thought an interesting mechanic in Breath of the Wild was early on, ammo for arrows was like rare. And you really felt like you had to conserve it. Kind of like uh, a Resident Evil style, you know, ammo rarity mechanic, you know? Go away. All y'all, just die. I know, you're not happy, Epona, I know. Stop hitting me so I can kill you with my sword. Did Epona just stomp on that guy? Nice. Well done, Epona. You know, Final Fantasy XV, you get um, a chocobo that you can ride, but he joins you in battle eventually. Like, the more you have, like, a... A relationship with the chocobo you level him up and he gets to like be powerful and be a really strong ally it's kind of awesome I think I might like chocobos as companions even more than Epona sadly I love me some Epona but them chocobos were awesome I mean there's more emotional weight behind Epona because it's that's like your one legendary horse all the time, but still, super impressed with the chocobo mechanics in Final Fantasy XV. Guess I shouldn't talk too much about non-Nintendo games on here. Sorry, but I mean, there's lessons to learn there. Wouldn't it be cool 
if a Pono is more than a bicycle. You know? It's kind of what she is right now, right? I don't have bombs or anything, so we can't get up there. So we have to go up this way, I'm thinking, right? I mean, we're in the right area. Is that the only... Let's ride around a little bit here. That leads to death, so we're going to have to go up. Is there a, the falcon? Got to get the falcon? Is that what these whistles are? I forget what, what whistle does what. That's Epona. I'm one step this way, Epona. <laughs> Didn't move. It was like, hey, dude, just come over here. I'm not gonna take two steps over here, you needy turd. Yeah, well, it was worth a shot. There, no, she might have felt really motivated. Oh, there was a bomb shop in Kakariko. Shoot. Uh, where's my fast travel stuff? All the way in Kakariko. Blah, blah, blah. I cannot warp now, right? Because I'm on a horse. Got it. Why can I not warp now? Don't waste my time. You're killing me. Do you have anything else? Can you make me warp? There, there was a warp point, though. Sitting there in... Uh... Sitting there in Kakariko, we were just teleported back there, weren't we? Uh, Davis's bridge, poof. No warp point. I think there was. Pretty sure, man, but whatever. We'll just head back to the same place we were for the third time! Goodness gracious. Alright. What can you do but complain? Which I can do very well. A master complainer. Um. Okay, yeah. I do go up this. I wasn't sure. That might be an alternate path. You never know. You never... You know, you just, you know, you never, uh, you never, you never know. I want to text Poco. <laughs> She's gonna hate me. Can you bring up Pringles and pork rinds? Lol, lol. I'm just craving right now, you know? I've been eating so healthy lately, and yesterday sucked. So my car died. Straight up. Engine broken. Need a brand new engine. Kind of important in a car. So, I meant to turn around, you dumb horse. <laughs> so, essentially we need to figure out how to get a new car. That really stinks. And sometimes when we're upset about stuff, we just like to eat junk food. So we bought a bunch of junk food. David says, you need a warp point in the region where you want to warp from. Oh, you know what? That makes sense. Thank you for clarifying that. This is the bomb shop. Let's get our bombs. Obviously, we need them. Alright, well. <laughs> parked too close. I parked my horse too close. First world problems. In <laughs> these days. Davis says, oh, it sucks, yeah. It does suck. Yeah, that's right. Give me bombs. I'll take it. 120, no problem. I always got plenty. Yeah. 
sorry, I just really felt like I had to do that. Oh yeah, eventually you get bomb shoes. I love bomb shoes. Ah, that's right, good horse. It's good at turning around. They were smart enough to include a turnaround mechanic. <laughs> Dapa says, doing great, Jay, doing great. <laughs> ah, man, all right, attempt number 75. Let's get across that bridge. Now, if I get another letter that tells me to go back into the village, Oh, what is it? An instruction manual? Cool. Get out of here, shorts man. Uh, where's my items? Or my collection? What is it? Collection? There it is. The buttons are weird in this game. Oh, I'm just telling you to use the bomb arrows. Hey, that, that one tells me how to combine stuff. If I'd have bought bombs right away, I would have known, I guess. Hiya! Hiya! I hear my delivery! Oh man, is that the best wife in the world coming through the door? Yeah. You know it! Totally is! Oh yeah! Oh, and she brought me my little mini as well. Oh heck yeah! So here you go, Dapus. Cheeseburger Pringles. I think you said you didn't have these in Norway. And I gotta tell you, you should import some. No, it's, I'm kidding. That's probably way too expensive. But <laughs> you ever find yourself in a store and you see some, give them a shot. Eat more than one. Have like five of them. Eat them slowly. Appreciate the flavors. At first you're going to go, this is weird. I don't know if I like it. And buy that last one. You're like, all right, I'm going to eat the rest of the can now. I'm ready. <laughs> So, Chris, are, what, what time are we leaving for this party? Well, I'll be done streaming at noon, and then we'll leave from there. Okay, so I should shower now. Yeah. Okay. And pork rinds. And I got a little mute here, so you don't have to listen to me crunching and munching. So, I can open this sucker up, and I can crunch to my heart's content, and you won't have to hear one thing. Mike is still on. See? And you didn't hear a thing, did you? Oh, so good. David says, I'm gonna laugh so hard. Ha ha ha. Oh, man. They're so good. I love pork rinds. I haven't had them in maybe like 10 years. I don't know why. It's just fried pig skin. It's like a... It's like a cheese puff that tastes like pork. It's really good. Okay. Opponent. Let's keep you here for a sec. Uncombine those. Combine that. Ba-bing! Take it out. Oh, and there's the portal. Of course, it doesn't show up until after you get exactly what you need. And there's where you're talking about the bridge going, poof. That's a big pork rind. Excuse me a moment. Those are good. Those are real good. Now the bridge, poof. Yep, you was right. So where are the little fools that need to beat up? Who wants to die? Are you on the bridge? Would you not do that, Epona? Would you just... They are on the bridge. Okay. Let me get off before I fight you fools.
Hey, I had it. There we go. Portal. Bing! Is the bridge back now? No. We gotta go find the bridge. But at the very least, we got a portal open. Hiya! They could have worked on the horse evasion tactics in this game. I remember they talked about them working on that for Breath of the Wild, and congrats, it works good, but this game could have used it too. Oh, get off! Stop! Stop! Lots of rupees! You don't understand, you dumb horse. Go away. Okay. Woo! Look at that. Turn around. Turn around. There you go. Alright, Dapus. Are you ready for me to tell you about these? These Pringles of glory? We've eaten most of them, so I gotta dig for it. Cheeseburger Pringle. Mm, mm hmm I think when you first crunch into it, what you're most noticing is like a pickle or a mustard taste. You know, tangy. And you're like, I don't know that I want pickle Pringles. But that's why you gotta keep trying them. You gotta keep searching for those flavors, because there's way more to it than just that. And you start to catch that ketchup taste. And some of that cheese taste. And some of that uh, meat taste. And then you realize, holy crap, maybe one of the most complex Pringle flavors ever. There's so much to it. Nope, slow down. I see that there's a secret place to discover here. Yes, and you're going to hit me seven times before I can get to you. Alright. Right, I can totally blow the crap out of this thing. Nah. No! What, I need a bigger bomb? Guess so. Alright, Pringles number two. Oh yeah, that's the stuff. That's the stuff right there. That secret place is for the future. Uh, at least it had a bunch of stuff. Oh, you mean that well, that I couldn't blow up? Right, got it. Let's do it. Bring me in there. Let's be a dog again. A wolf is just a dog. Just a big, friendly dog that will kill you. Remember Clifford the Big Red Dog? Children's books. I think there was even a cartoon. He's huge. He was, like, bigger than your house. I always wanted a dog that big and as friendly as Clifford. All right, now we woofs. We little dog. Let's do it. <laughs> Dapus says, oh boy, Clifford the Big Red Dog. You didn't think you'd be hearing a reference to Clifford the Big Red Dog in this stream now, did ya? Well, just expect the unexpected, Dapus. Because you never know what's going to happen in here. <laughs> I don't care about these guys. They mean nothing to me. At least the wolf was fast, so I guess in this game, even if you were too lazy to get the horse, like call your horse to you, you did probably spend a lot of time as the wolf running because he was so much faster than Link on foot. Dapus is totally taken aback. <laughs> and then says, let's find the girl! <laughs> 
Yeah, this was like his... I don't know if he'd say love interest, but she certainly seemed to, you know, have feelings for Link. I think he probably looked out for more like a sister or like a, a close friend that happens to be a girl. Because, of course, everyone wants him to end up with the princess or uh, one of select few other folks. So the princess of the Zora region is common. Ruto in... Uh, Ocarina of Time, and... Uh, what's her name in Breath of the Wild? I'm trying to say Misao, but I've been watching Roroni Kenshin lately, and Miss Misao is a character there. Mipha, I think. M-I-P-H-A. Mipha, I believe, is the princess. The Zora princess in Breath of the Wild. So, those are the common ones that other people would say he should end up with instead. I think more so Mifa than Ruto, because Ruto was a bit annoying. Oh, Malin in Ocarina of Time, yes. Oh, Saria, totally. Oh, I was 100% Camp Saria, big time. That was so sweet. Ilya. Oh, yeah, she is like Malin. I guess there was a few options out there that people like to see, but... It's like, if you're going through the trouble to rescue the princess, you feel like you should end up with her, at the very least. <laughs> you know? Otherwise, I don't know, it doesn't, it doesn't feel... Like, there needs to be a romance aspect. I think that is something that needed to be a little more prevalent in the Zelda series. I guess it doesn't have to, but in the more mature entries, like Breath of the Wild and Twilight Princess and stuff, I think a romance element would be nice. Um, in the more Wind Waker type ones where he's like a, a young child. Yeah, it doesn't have to be romance. In fact, it probably shouldn't be. But, uh, yeah, in, in these ones, definitely, I think it could be a nice extra element. And they always kind of like hint very lightly at it, but it's never a real romance story of any kind. Yep, I went through the effort to do that charged attack for one guy. Midna, well, pff, why didn't I think of that? She's right on my back. Yeah, Midna, definitely a huge uh, contender uh, for folks that people would like to see Link end up with instead of Zelda. Why didn't I think of that? I mean, she's a princess too. In fact, most of the folks that are potential love interests for, for Link are all princesses. Like, he went from farm boy to, like, princess wooer pretty quick. I mean, the dude's a boss. <laughs> Just a baller. Well, this area seems to be a maze and of no benefit or value, so let's move on. Let's cross that bridge we've been eyeballing. Mm, I'm gonna need another pork rind. Yeah, what's up? I like the lunge attack as the wolf. Ruff, 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 ruff. I am doggo. Hear me, bork. Oh, run away. I don't care about them. Ah, itchy nose. What the heck? David says, I would love to see her or her realm in a future game. Oh, totally. Um, or like um, A Link Between Worlds, you meet, uh, you know, essentially the opposites in another realm. It'd be cool to play as that realm, right? Or, like, the equivalent of whoever Link would be in, in Midna's realm, the Twilight Realm. It'd be cool to play from that aspect and then have a weird crossover with the, uh, the Light Realm that we're used to playing as, you know? That'd be a really different take on a Zelda game, too. So, there's a couple of really cool ideas that I think a lot of people are just waiting for Nintendo to say, all right, I think it's time. 
I think it'd be a fun way to revisit old games in a totally new way. Like, imagine if there was a sequel to Twilight Princess, and it was sort of the opposite scenario, and uh, you played the whole game in the Twilight Realm um, as a different hero. You know, Link's Twilight equivalent or whatever. Man, why is my nose so itchy? What is the deal? Are you bored, Midna? Are you bored? Okay. You're 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 ungrateful. Ooh. Fire arrow. Get the burb. I want them both. I want them both. <laughs> Nothing? Nothing dropped. Fine. Ungrateful jerks. I mean, I go through the effort of killing you politely, and this is the thanks I get. Wow. See if I'll kill you next time. I mean... I kind of like when they fly off the edge. It's fun. Like in uh, um, Breath of the Wild... Chucking folks off ed edges or hitting them just right and they fall over right off an edge. It's great. Dapa says that moment when your guinea pig is chewing and chewing the grids of his cage and doesn't react to his name anymore. Learn from his brother. <laughs> oh, that would be so cute playing as as deleted link bunny, but I forgot his name. Yeah, what was his name? It was something with an R, wasn't it? That was a big shock, actually, when that happened. Like, to actually see it, I think we all kind of suspected something. But he was also seems to, seem to be kind of a wimp and kind of greedy. Like, his personality was really different than Link's. What was his name? I thought it was something with an R. Did you get salt in your nose from the Pringles? Yeah. <laughs> it's like the outside of my nose, though. It's not, like, inside my nose. I'm not, like, picking my nose. For some reason... Outside of the nose is itchy. Not sure. Oh, I can go into sense mode and talk to all these people. That was a cool feature. Okay, I guess I can't talk to all of them, or rather listen to them. Fountain. There's a fountain this way. There's some rhymes. I gotta have some of these rhymes. Man, I cannot hold myself back. So good. Nope, nope, nope. Stop doing that. Follow the scent. Oh, duh, what was I thinking? It's been too long since I played this. Here it is. Maybe I'm allergic to pork rinds. <laughs> Throat closing! <laughs> What's this place? Ooh, she went to a medical clinic. What dis? Dis a bone? Can you eat this bone, doggo? Eat a bone. I don't think you can eat the bone. But something keeps popping up. You sure? There we go. Ha ha ha, doggo got a bone. Ha <laughs> ha. Go, pup, go. You gotta love games where you can play as a dog. I mean, you just gotta. How can you not? Don't care about any y'all. I think probably when I first played this, I probably 
spoke to everyone, everywhere, every time. But not no more. Thelma's bar? She's just a kid. She went to a bar? Hey. Nope. Yep. Don't. Don't do that. Nope. 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 Stop talking. Okay. Where'd she be? There she is. She's okay. Oh, it's Azora. A girl and her wolf. <laughs> nope. I, why do I keep hitting that? What is that button in Breath of the Wild that I keep thinking I should be hitting it? The soldiers are talking about something, huh? Got it, so take a look at that map ski. So that's where we gotta go. Got it. Any way you want it, that's the way you need it. Can't walk around floating wisps? Yeah, that makes sense. I mean, do we need to talk to these folks? <sighs> I keep hitting that button by accident. Ah! Need to talk to these folks again. Looks to be a no. Let's get out of here. Davis says, Telma heart. I want to make Telma one day. You want to make Telma? What do you mean? You want to make a figure of Telma? Not sure what you're saying. Let's get out of this town. But, let's check our map. If we want to get there... There's an exit just behind us, if we can take it. That would be the perfect way to go. Looks like that's not possible. Okay. Once again, don't know why we can't pass through Spirit Wisps, but okay. There's a lot we can do in this town once it's taken back. Like make her 3D model. Oh, yeah. That's cool. Man, I want to figure out how to do that kind of stuff someday. I'd love to make my own little game a simple thing, but... It sounds like too much effort, and I'd want to play games so much... I don't know that I'd have the patience for it. But I guess I would have the pride of it being my own creation. I don't know. Bridge Chan needs to find missing bridge, I think. Bridge Chan? Is that me? There's another way to get there. I can go this longer route. So I need to turn around. Go this way and off to the left. And this will lead me down there. Another path. Sounds like we gotta get down to Lake Hylia, so that's what I'm doing. Yeah! You want some of this? You want some of this? No. I don't like it. They, they're not vulnerable on the ground unless you do a finisher. Breath of the Wild finished there. Uh, really took advantage of stunning folks and allowing you to get more hits on them and that kind of stuff. Loved it. Which way are we going? What is it? Oh, this is that... The Cuckoo Falls thing. I love that. That was always fun. Uh, 
Oh, this was the way to the Cuckoo Falls, and I don't think we can get in there. It's probably not called Cuckoo Falls, but you take a cuckoo, you jump off a waterfall, you collect rupees. It's fun, it's cool, it actually incorporates the flying cuckoo mechanic, which the other games don't really do so much, so it was cool. The Great Ridge, Hylia. Hmm. You yeah, always forgot there's a second bridge. Oh, I remember now. Yeah, and the lake is like pathetically empty. We gotta get it filled again. Treasure chest up there. Guess that's a secret we'll figure out later. Any way you want it. I don't know why I'm singing that. A big old baddie. Legend 27. Sending me a Discord. Legend 27. What's up, Legend 27? TV Nintendo Prime TV Now you can join We're trapped, huh? Can we get on a box? Whee! Doggo into the water Chatting on Discord here. Trying to aim them our way. Phew, that was a close one. Yeah, this is basically a puddle. There's gotta be a spirit around here. Maybe in that glowing-ish area. Of course there's a water temple down there, of course. I'll definitely stream that again. He wants to play Smash 4. And I'm not going to jump out of this for only another 11 minutes and then play that. Yeah, so I'm just going to stick with this. And then I have to go to uh, my cousin's graduation party. She's graduating high school. It's very strange. She's one of my youngest cousins, and now she's graduating from high school. It's so weird. The more the time goes by, it's just strange, because you don't feel... After a certain point, you don't feel like you're really aging, but you're aging so much, you know? It's a weird sensation. I feel like I felt like when I was 16, but I'm not even close. And so much time has gone by. 11, almost 12 years has gone by since then. Almost as much time as it was to be 16, you know? It's so strange. Can we get in there another way? Perhaps with doggo senses? These are just dig spots, right? They're not tunnel spots. Yeah. Any way to tunnel my way in there? Yay, nay, nay, nay. Nope. Nope, nope. I don't ever want to talk to Midna. <laughs> Very rarely. That's what I want. Any way you want it. Zoras who live upriver do something. Ah ha ha! Oh, there's a spirit up there. 
He's telling me everything. Weird belly shirt clown man. Yikes. Was that a customer? And it zooms in on what? Oh, the little hawk reads. Lol. What was he looking at, though? Which direction was that? This way? No, sir. No, sir. Let's be up high. Oh, over, over here? This guy? We can't really play the hawk reads, though. Not as a wolf. Let's fight, bro. He can play it, too? Oh, we can howl in that spot, right? And that's how we call it. So what's he going to call down? Some big nasty monster? Whoa! I missed a bunch of chats here, sorry. Worst Gamer has joined us. Says, hey, 5J. What's up, Worst Gamer? Thanks for coming, bud. Good to see you. It's been a while. Oh, he's got an archer up there? What the heck? Um, David says, the ghost beside the lake. Take you out. Yeah, that's right. I'm on to you. Uh, Worst Gamer says, I have played uh, Twilight Princess on the Wii, but not in HD. I played it on the Wii, too. I did not play it on GameCube. But, uh, like I've been saying, it's been so long. I don't really remember it, so I don't notice that it's flipped. It's a great game. I love it in HD. It looks great. Finally, finally we get to play this game in HD. It should have been in HD the first time, but that wasn't uh, Nintendo's plan, so we had to live with it as it was. Um... You never got far in it. Oh, really? Oh, it's totally worth beating sometime. Totally. I don't remember this. Ha! <laughs> Just picks me up. That's great. Davis says, Aw, oh, you missing out big time. It's a wonderful game. Totally. Totally great game. Most Zelda games are. Worst Gamer says, I rented it for my uncle for a few weeks. I know, right, 5J? Yeah, that's right. Uh, Worst Gamer says, I haven't been on stream of, of yours in a long time. It's okay, you're back. And I like seeing you every time you come, so thanks for being here. Oh boy. We can use our dock. Whoa, excuse you. I forgot I was inverted flying there for a sec. Hey, careful now. Should we try it again? Nah, let's not beat the game. In fact, for good luck, why don't we eat one of these pork rinds to help us out? Yeah, great idea. Should should help. Mmm. Pork. Rind. Whoa, that was close. Almost got me. Let's see. Looks like we go up here, huh? So recently, I ordered some Legos. Okay, wait for it, wait for it. They're knockoff Legos. Okay, wait for it, wait for it. Because they're for Lego sets that are super expensive. And uh, buying them name brand doesn't make sense. Now, of course, like anyone, super worried about off-brand Legos. That's gotta be garbage, right? Well, my cousin, a different cousin, not the one that's graduating. Um, he's bought a bunch of Star Wars Legos from this brand before. This off-brand. They look great. They were Star Wars Legos. They looked just like the real thing. So, I bought a gigantic uh, Ghostbusters, uh, the, the firehouse in Ghostbusters. There's a big old set of the entire firehouse and a bunch of stuff. It, it, it opens up with the inside. It's really cool for a Ghostbusters fan. And that set is, was, when it came out, it was like $400. So expensive. And I think I got it for like 130 <laughs> So, if it looks even mildly like the real thing, then if you just 
put it on a, a keep it at a distance, you know, and it'll it'll be great. I don't know. Should be fun though. It's almost five thousand pieces. I think it's like forty seven hundred pieces, just shy of forty seven hundred pieces. It's so many pieces, huge. Dave says, "Whoa, so bad, Jay. It's not bad. It's fine." Alibaba, baby. AliExpress. It's great. Kavorndorf's here. Says, hello, what's up, Jay? What's up, Kavorndorf? Thanks for coming. We gotta get to this spirit here eventually. Boat rental. Yeah, we're gonna rent a boat as a dog. I always love the Zora domain in all the Zelda games. They're always so cool and so unique. I miss my fur coat, she says to me as a dog. Come on. If only you knew how insensitive you are being to dog kind. I know he's a wolf, but wolves are just big, cute puppies. Not dangerous in the slightest, except when they kill you. Then there's a little danger involved, you know, sometimes. You go in the water. I mean, what's the deal? This is, must be it. Holy place. Oh, is it frozen? Oh. My, my. It's raining out there. That's going to be fun. David says, take off the senses. Yeah. Yeah, it was a little bit... It narrows your focus too much. It's hard to see anything around you. Poor frozen Zora's domain. That seems to happen a lot. Getting frozen. Let's let's find them. You were just talking to me. Now you're gonna yawn at me, Midna. You are a class A jerk. Get out of here so I can do what I need to do. Um, nope, that wasn't it. I forget what button I have to press. Oh, we gotta focus. Ah, there we are. I was like, I thought it was the A button. Twas, twas. Midna, stop you complaining. You're fine. Hey, what did you do? Link, dude. Come on, man. Um, let's see. Kev Orndorff says, I see you're playing my second favorite Zelda game. What's your first? Breath of the Wild? Ocarina of Time? Davis says, I'm so ready to backseat game when you get up to the throne room. <laughs> yeah, well, we'll see what happens. We might not even make it to this throne room. We have, like, no time left. Shut up, Midna. Shut up, Midna. Nobody wants you. I'm just kidding. Oh, again, Link? Yeah, couldn't have just taken it easy. Just a little bit. Okay, all right. This should be the last obstacle that kills us. At least it's fast to come back up. Stop yawning like you're bored. Nintendo. So bold. They feel that they can really... They feel that the characters in-game can yawn. And not <laughs> make their players uh, feel like they should be bored. I mean, that's a bold move. Nobody should be yawning while playing the game. Midna yawns like all the time. Doesn't that, like, subliminally tell you you should be bored? How do you get up? Don't drop down. How do you get up? There you go. Now that we're up here, we're pretty much going to have to stop the game. 
So let's just get into the next area where it's going to save, maybe view a cutscene. We'll see. All right. There's no cutscene. We're going to stop it right here. Okay. We're going to stop it right here, unfortunately, but I do have stuff to do. Graduation party for my cousin. Got to go do that. So ugh, let's save this. Ooh, let's put it on the amiibo. Or do we not have to scan the amiibo every time? Let's see. Golden bugs. Amiibo. Should I just tap it on there? Oh, not what I wanted. Nope, nope, nope. I don't want to do the Cave of Shadows right now. <laughs> Actually, I don't think I've ever tried it. Anyway, guys, thanks for coming. Kevorndorf, Worst Gamer Dapus, thank you. Uh, Breath, uh, Kevorndorf says, uh, Breath of the Wild is my number one favorite now. Awesome. Dapus says, Huff ate too much popcorn and soda. You can never have too much popcorn and soda. Just kidding, of course. When your stomach hurts, that's your body telling you you're, you are stupid. <laughs> Happens to me all the time. Dapus says, thanks for a great stream as always. Thanks for being great viewers as always. Uh, always remember, guys, you can go to Nintendo Prime's Facebook channel, their website, their Twitter. They got a lot of great articles out there, and they post all the time. So definitely check those out. And uh, as, as uh, you guys already follow me on my own channel, I mean, I probably don't have to say it, but if anyone watches this later on YouTube, uh, you can always catch me on my own channel, twitch.tv slash 5J. So... Thanks for coming, guys, and uh, I don't know if I'm streaming tomorrow, so we'll see. It depends. I might be helping my dad out with something, so we'll see. Anyways, thanks for coming, guys. See you later. Bye. It's the wrong window. There we are. <laughs> see you guys.